Jada Institute show and welcome to part two of our little holiday series on how to make an advent calendar using our miniature falling leaves Christmas stockings. The tutorial for our miniature falling leaves stocking will be linked in the description box down below and the pinned comment so you can use that tutorial to make your own set of little Christmas stockings. And in today's video we're going to show you how you can very simply turn 24 of these into your very own advent calendar. And at the end of this video, come on back because we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about how I've hung up the stockings here behind me. So grab your stockings, grab your pattern and template if you've got it, and meet me over at the craft table. advent calendar we're going to want 24 individually numbered tags and this little template is available in our miniature Christmas stocking advent calendar pattern. You're going to want 24 miniature Christmas stockings and the link for this particular tutorial will be in the description box down below. We want a pair of scissors, a hole punch, and some pretty string or embroidery floss so that we can attach our little numbered tags to our stockings. You can paint or color in your tags if you want or leave them plain. And if you're going to color them, I recommend you do that first. And then of course you want to cut them all out. Once you have your numbers cut out, grab your hole punch and just punch a hole right in the top center. you want to cut some of your string. I recommend between 20 and 25 centimeters or 8 to 10 inches. We're going to tie a little knot right at the top. So you're going to line your ends up together and tie a little knot so that you can pull that knot as close to the edge as possible. Make it nice and tight. Take the knotted end and thread it through your tag. And then pass the knotted end through the looped thread. And that affixes it to your little tag. Next, take a stocking. Pass the tag and the little string through the hanging loop of your stocking. Pass the tag through the loop of your string and just tug it down to the bottom of your hanging loop. And that way your little numbered tag will hang just behind or just on top of your little stocking. And of course once you have them hanging you can arrange them the way you want. You can hang them off of little hooks. Here, I'm just using popsicle sticks. You can hang them anywhere. Why not use cute little clothes pins for an old-fashioned look? Or you can crochet a simple little garland and attach them as you go. It's much easier to hang. Like we mentioned, you of course can color in your little template numbers if you want to, make them a little less stark white, or you can leave them white like I've done. I kind of like the juxtaposition of that black and white lettering, or numbering I guess in this case, against the brightly colored stockings. Now, a little bit about how we hung them up here. I have been using these little clips. These are little sewing clips, nothing fancy, but of course you can use clothespins or some of the other things we discussed in the video. And I've just put it through the loop of the stocking, and I've just clipped it to the blanket I've got hanging behind me. Now, I had a blanket already made that I really liked. It was in kind of Christmassy colors, so I hung it up next to me here, and that's what I've easily hung all of my little stockings onto. It's a double crochet blanket. Uh, we actually have a tutorial for this as well, so we'll link that in the description box down below and the pinned comment if you want to make a pretty bright red and white chevron blanket. But any Christmas blanket will do. It makes a nice background, especially if you don't have a a uh, fireplace or maybe a staircase that you want to hang all of your stockings on. So very simply, I just numbered all of them, I clipped them to the blanket, they're not very heavy so they don't want to weigh the blanket down, and um, once I finish off my final row of stockings, I will just tuck them in underneath all of the ones I've got hanging here. 
I will probably fill my stockings with candy canes and chocolates, mm, maybe a few other things that I like to nibble on throughout the day. And of course, you can have them all in order, 1 through 24, or you can randomize the numbering of your advent calendar. It's entirely up to you. But definitely fill your stockings full of the kinds of treats that you like to snack on throughout the day, because you get to empty an entire stocking every day of December. What says holiday more than a whole bunch of candy and a bunch of pretty stockings? <laughs> Anyway, we hope you enjoyed today's part two of our little advent calendar series on turning some of these little darlings into an entire advent calendar that you can use to decorate your craft room, or your bedroom, or the living room, or the hallway, or maybe even the office, whatever you feel needs a little bit of holiday cheer. We will see you soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Miss Stern Stitches here. Thank you for watching today! Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!